Good morning, I'm Paul Nash. I'm the project coordinator for the District of Seashell and this is our wonderful new innovative wastewater treatment plant. We're standing inside the greenhouse and above the treatment tanks. These things are six metres deep and they hold a thousand cubic metres of water each. And there's four of them here that make up the system. This is uh, called the Organica process. It's the heart of the treatment system where the wastewater comes in here after being screened and in these tanks it gets aerated and after that's done aerating we settle it. The sludge settles out to the bottom and the clear water goes off to the top. The unique feature about these tanks is all of these baskets which when it's completed will have plants in them and it'll look a little bit like this one in the corner. And the idea is that these green plants hang their roots down into the treatment tanks and they enhance the treatment process. So plants plus animal manure is a match made in heaven. And they've actually found that adding these plants into the treatment makes it about 20% better, faster and smaller. So we have uh, four of these tanks here. Each one is good for 1,000 cubic metres a day. Or overall it will handle a town of 14,000 people. Uh, Seashop right now, we have a connected population of about 6,500 and the total population for the town is about 10,000. The most defining feature about this treatment system is the use of plants and this greenhouse to enhance the treatment process. So over behind me here we have a selection of plants. They're sitting on top of the basket. When this plant is in operation, they'll be in the basket currently upside down, and the plant roots hang down into the water and enhance the treatment process. Plants and uh, animal waste is a match made in heaven, they both help each other. In this case, having the plant roots in the treatment process increases the biodiversity of bacteria that are in there, and basically allows us to get 20% more treatment from the same space and with the same amount of energy. The final stage in our wastewater treatment is the filtration of the water. After it's left these batch reactors, the, uh, it's called secondary effluent at that point, and it's quite clean. We've removed 90% of the uh, contaminants. But the final stage is the filtration. And these space agent devices are membrane filters. Each one of those pipes there holds a set of membranes. I think they're about 10 micron. These are called ultrafiltration membranes. They're down to about 10 microns. They're not reverse osmosis membranes, it's a different process, but they are very fine. We do the final filtering of the water through these, and when it comes out after that, we've removed about 99% of the contaminants. At that point, the water is it's almost crystal clear, and it goes through an ultraviolet disinfection, and it's then ready for discharge to the ocean. When we're going to reuse the water, which is the goal of this whole facility, We'll then take that final disinfected water and send it over to the old treatment plant which has been repurposed as a pump house for the reclaimed water. We then chlorinate this water and send it on to the reuse customers, whoever they are. One of the rules of this is that if we're sending water to the ocean, we're not allowed to chlorinate. And if we're sending it for reuse, we have to chlorinate. So we have two separate systems.